What's going on guys? It is Filmington and it is the 14th of the month. So I apologize, this video is coming out a day later than I usually like to post it. But we've got the Rookie Card Explosion Box Volume 30, it's here. It is here, it's taking me a little bit longer to put together these boxes this time around because it was critical for me to include Series 2. I wasn't able to get my Series 2 shipments in till yesterday, so fortunately um, I got a Sunday delivery from either UPS or FedEx and I was able to start putting together the boxes last night. The National Sports Collectors Convention is coming up in Chicago. I'm excited to go, of course it was canceled last year, a lot of people feared that it would be either postponed or canceled this year. But it's official, it's happening, and my flight and hotel are both booked. I'm going to be there between Wednesday early afternoon through Saturday. So that'll give me uh, more than two full days of the show, so I'm thankful for that. Um, so I wanted to ask you guys, uh, write in the comments, are you guys going to the National? Um, and if so, would you be interested, assuming that you're going to be around Friday, July 30th, would you be interested in attending some sort of YouTube event open to not just uh, content creators, but also watchers of content. We did something in 2019 where we we hosted a little, you know, get together at one of the hotels, which is within walking distance of the National. That was Lowe's Hotel. We're looking at that same hotel this time, in addition to one or two other venues. So um, definitely be on the lookout for more details, but it would be Friday night, July 30th. And... Um, yeah, it's open to everyone. So let me know in the, in the comments if you're attending the National, and if so, if you'd be interested in attending this event. Um, and that is something I'll be co-hosting with Pepino Man, another YouTuber, as well as YouTuber Eloy the Goat. So really excited about that. Um, some of the other venues that we're looking at uh, one of them's also within walking distance from the national. The other one would be like a short Uber ride. Maybe it's one of those things where, you know, we, we try to split it up. You know, the first few hours are at Lowe's or this venue B, which I will not name yet because I'm not sure if, um, um, I, I want to go, or we want to go with that one. Um, and then maybe the second half of the event takes place somewhere else a little further away. Uh, we will, we will see. But uh, excited for that for sure. All right, so this month for volume 30, unfortunately, no one-time purchases will be available. So as usual, best chance will be to go to the website, which is www.rcexplosionbox.com on the first or leading into the first of the month, leading into July 1st. Usually I post the new subscriptions at around 11.40 p.m. Eastern time on the eve of the first. And in July, for July 1st, for volume 31, probably there's probably gonna be less than five subscriptions available. So don't keep your hopes up um, with, uh, with that, but that's gonna be your best chance. Um, also, another thing, uh, I brought up, I believe, on this channel that I was uh, co-promoting an event, the uh, first flipping card show, which happened in May. Uh, this is something that we're gonna be doing on the third Saturday of every month. It is in Massachusetts. It is in Woburn, Massachusetts. I'll include the link to the, the Instagram and the Facebook page in the show notes um, description of this video. But uh, first one was a was a pretty pretty big success. So if you're local to New England, especially Massachusetts, our second show is going to be this coming Saturday, June nineteenth. It runs from nine to one p.m. The social distancing restrictions have been lifted in entirety, I believe. So we're going to have a few more dealers at the show, and uh, hopefully hopefully no lines for customers. All right. Um, so this lineup, it's pretty good. Um, I almost had to like check it a second time to make sure that I'd include too much value in it because it, it's, uh, I did a good job with this one, I think. Um, so the first pack is going to be, I haven't done like a variable pack in a while, but the first pack people will receive will be one of these three products, either 2012 Bowman, not Bowman Draft, but regular Bowman, 2016 Topps Chrome, or 2018 Bowman. So I think I have, the way I have it split up is it's like a third of the people will receive each of these, one of each of these packs. And uh, 2012 Bowman, it's got some pretty good first prospect 
autographs. Xander Bogarts, Garrett Cole, uh, Anthony Rendon, Nick Castellanos, and also Bryce Harper has an autograph in that product that actually sells for quite a bit. So not sure how many of those are redemptions. Uh, if Harper is, I assume the others might not be, but pretty, pretty nice product. Uh, 2016 Topps Chrome. That's going to be Corey Seager, Trevor Story. Good chance that Trevor Story gets traded midseason, maybe to a team like the Yankees, probably a contender bigger market. I don't know if he would stay around, but that would only be um, a positive for his hobby value unless, you know, it's shown that Colorado really helped his uh, his offensive numbers, which it has with all those guys. But the thing about those those uh, those Colorado hitters is it seems like they always outperform what people expect once they do leave. Like, look at DJ LeMahieu, look at Nolan Arenado, small sample size, but he's been pretty well this year. Power's down a bit, but he's doing better than I think what most people expected so far in, uh, in St. Louis. Um, so yeah, so 2016 Topps Chrome, that's that's Trey Turner as well. Kind of undervalued. Um, probably the best shortstop in baseball, if not a top, the top two shortstop in baseball right now. Where he, uh, his hobbies hurt, I believe, because he's already like 26, 27. And if you look at like his career accolades, his career war, he's never really had, maybe, maybe he's had like one breakout season, but he hasn't had like a a five plus war season, or if he has, he's had one and he hasn't had that many four plus war seasons. So that's why somebody like Francisco Lindor, who I think might, most people would probably prefer to have Trey Turner on their team at this point over Lindor. Um, but, uh, Lindor's had that consistency, um, up to, up till now, really, where he's been quite good. And he's, uh, he's been able to have, um, Seasons with more plate appearances, and uh, he's, he's been banged up a bit, but he's still been able to get the plate appearances there and accumulate. Um, also, uh, 2016 Topps Chrome does have Carlos Correa, his rookie autograph. So even though it's a it's a 2015 Topps Chrome autograph, it was inserted randomly into 2016 Topps Chrome hobby boxes, um, maybe retail as well. I'm not sure. Uh, and Ketel Marte, a guy that's finally healthy, who I really like. Um, and the third product there was, again, 2018 Bowman. So this product's really strong, especially of late. So Luis Robert, I believe his autographs, all of his autographs are redemptions that are expired now. But Shohei Otani is in here, his, uh, his rookie autograph, um, as well as his first the first Bowman paper he has, his first Bowman Chrome was in Bowman Chrome, I think, without the autograph. Uh, Royce Lewis. Oh, for the year, I think with a torn ACL, but that's a, this is a real like power prospect. He's still really young, 22, 23. Um, he'd be huge to hit regardless of his current status. Uh, middle infielder too. Um, Adolis Garcia, he's doing really, really well this year. Kind of came out of nowhere. Another guy that was sort of released by the, the Cardinals or traded for, for not a whole lot. Um, Cedric Mullins, talk about a, another guy who's breaking out this year. Post uh, post height prospect Corbin Burns. He's been one of the best pitchers this year. Um, I know his spin rates have been down over the last couple starts, and his last start was really bad. So that's something to watch out for. But Corbin Burns appears like he's he's breaking out. We'll see if that consistency sticks, or if that's the issue that kind of hurts him going forward without using the the sticky stuff. Uh, Christian Pache. Um, you know, not not everybody figures it out the first time. And Mackenzie Gore, who I believe is still one of the top pitching prospects in the minors maybe the, the top pitching prospect he's uh i think he's been a little he's got the the yips they say so that's kind of what's holding them back and san diego right now is really deep rotation um and paddock looks like he might be turning around if last start is any indication he had his best start in almost two years all right uh so that's the first pack geez already at nine and a half minutes all right second pack uh, is going to be 2018 Series 1. Uh, Raphael Devers, Walker Bueller, Ozzy Albies, Alex Verdugo is having another pretty good season. Jack Flaherty, um, Reese Hoskins, he's been, he's been okay. Uh, he's, he's streaky, streaky guy. Uh, next up, I had to include this one. Try to make these prospects or these uh, inclusions of products timely. As timely as I possibly can, because I only have so much of these these products, especially the, the good ones. 2019 Bowman uh, retail box, so this is gonna be a retail pack, and uh, this is this is the month I'm predicting that Wanda Franco gets the call. If you check like Google News, you're not gonna see any indications of that. But that's kind of the way it works. 
Uh, he's uh, he's shown some power promise lately. He's been having a, a really good season. I mean, it's not like off the charts good in AAA. Um, I think it's enough to show that he's fully developed. I haven't really been paying attention to his defense. I know they're. I think they're putting him at second base and third base. Uh, but Tampa Bay also has another option in, in AAA, Vidal Brujan, who might get called up sooner. But I still think, I do think that Juan Franco will get the call in June. The Super 2 deadline has presumably passed. So it's either it's either now or might as well wait till till next year and call him up in like, you know, late, late April or something. But uh, I mean, people will say that Tampa Bay doesn't need him until they do. Until they're in another situation like they were last year and... Oh, we have no offense, and we're in the playoffs, and we're putting up two twelve batting averages against you know ALCS opponents. And but uh, but anyways, yeah. So Julio Rodriguez, he's killing it. Marco Luciano, he struggled a little bit to start the year in single A, but he's been. Um, I think he's now up to like seven home runs. His weighted OBA, his geek stats are starting to go back up to kind of where they were. So that is really good to see. And Julio Rodriguez, I don't think he really ever slowed down. So those three guys, watch those three guys, and. Uh, be awesome to hit anything of them right now from that product. Uh, next up is going to be so Tatis. What did he hit? Like his twentieth, nineteenth, or twentieth home run yesterday? Um, oh, 2019 top series two guys. Strong product, and uh, probably shouldn't have let off with Tatis. Was guess what? Vlad Guerrero has an 1150 OPS, like a 350 average. I think he leads the American League, maybe the majors in RBIs. Um, 21 home runs. And uh, and he's doing it through this time where offense is really suppressed. Throughout the first couple months of the season, I think the league batting average was was like 230, which is pretty crazy. So strikeouts are way up, um, but not for him. I think he's still around like 15, 20 percent. His walks are still around 15, 20 percent. This is this is the breakout of Vlad. Uh, Long term wise, we'll see. Can he keep that weight off? Who knows? But um, this is a special player. He's not just a home run derby bat anymore, guys. Next up is going to be uh, 2020 Top Series 1. Uh, sort of a product that's heading in the, the opposite direction of uh, 19 Series 2. But, hey, Bo Bichette's having a pretty good year. You know, he's overshadowed by Vlad right now, but he's, he's stealing bases. He's hitting doubles. He's getting home runs. OPS doesn't compare to Vlad, but... He's uh he's having his own breakout, you know. His his ceiling was never Vlad's, so he's doing really well. And the hobby's appreciating that. Jordan Alvarez sort of been like in and out with like various, very small injuries, um, another COVID scare. Uh, but uh, I expect big things from Jordan Alvarez if he stays healthy. Um kind of a DH first guy, and the hobby's always gonna discount him because of that, as they should. Uh Gavin Lux, he's now healthy, he's now starting to pick things up. I think he had a really good weekend. Uh, we'll see if that sticks. Next product is going to be, um, yeah, to be honest, kind of a filler pack. 2020 Tops update. And this, this is probably the last time I feature this. But Randy Rosarena and uh, Trent Grisham. And, yeah, he might hit a rookie debut of Bichette. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, next up, we've got 2021 Bowman Retail. Uh, this one's going to be from Blasters. And uh, and that you've got you know same guys from last month, Austin Martin, Blaze Jordan, Maximo Acosta, Uelki Suspedes. That's an auto only. Uh, you might only be able to get that from Hobby. I'm not sure, but I think this year you can get regular base autos from retail. I just don't know if it's the same checklist as what you get from Hobby. So if Suspedes is part of that, I'm not sure. Uh, Alcantara. The Hedbart Perez, Sabato, uh, De La Rosa, Silver Jackify hit a purple De La Rosa auto last uh, last month, so that's a really big hit. Uh, of course, you can't hit purples from retail, but you can get, uh, I think, well, the paper ones, which have their own checklist, but base starting this year is what I hear, as well as, I think, green and, and yellow, uh, number to 75. I believe you can hit the yellows, too, uh, but certainly the greens. Um, and you can hit the base, uh, I believe you still can hit the base refractors that are not autographed. So those ones are numbered to $4.99. Huge cards. Um, and then the last two packs, you're going to get Tops Series 1. Um, so with this, you've got a bunch of guys that are struggling right now, really. Aside from maybe Dylan Carlson, Mountcastle and Bohm aren't doing too great. Nick Madrigal just went down. Um, Christian Pache brought him up earlier. But Joe Adele. 
Joe Adele's been uh, doing better in, in AAA. You might get the call soon. Strikeouts are still a bit of an issue, although he has gone through streaks where the strikeouts are suppressed a bit, like around 20% instead of the usual 30% for him or 30% plus. So uh, Joe Adele might be the top guy in that product um, eventually. Just uh, don't know when that's going to be. Uh, and then lastly, this is a product I like. And fortunately for you guys that like to open packs, this product is crashing right now. Right now, the top three in this product, Cabrian Hayes, Alex Karoloff, I would argue he's in the top three, and Jazz Chisholm. You could say there's just a top two, and it's just Jazz Chisholm and, um, and Cabrian Hayes, and I'd be fine with that. But that top two is better than anyone in Series 1 right now, based on what they've shown. All right, uh, that is it. So again, no one-time purchases available this month, fellas. And uh, let me know if you guys are attending the National. And if so, are you going to be available on Friday, July 30th? Because we're going to be throwing a little shindig. More details to come. And I'm going to start to ship out these boxes today. So probably around 108 will go out today. And the rest will go out Tuesday and Wednesday. Take care, guys. All right, so there's actually a few things that I forgot to mention. First of all, there's going to be another get-together at the National um, Thursday, July 29th, if you're going to be around for that, probably at around 8 o'clock. I don't know the details yet. They're still trying to work it out. But uh, baseball collector Mike, along with Blue Jacket 66 Dave and those back pages Eric are going to be putting together a uh, another get-together for, uh, I believe, YouTubers and watchers, very similar to what we're doing on Friday. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up was uh, in the variable pack, um, if you've done your homework or if you've done some research there, 2018 Bowman is, um, this is the first time there's been like a uh, clear superior option in the variable packs I give out. So basically what I did to offset that was um, usually the bonus packs are one in six. Well, this time around, they're going to be one in four if you got a pack that is not 2018 Bowman, and if you did get 2018 Bowman as your variable pack, then you will not be getting a chance at getting a bonus pack. All right, guys, Filmington out this time for real. Take care, guys.